Sometimes, with my Parkinson's, I can become a little apathetic, lose my verbal filter, and say some things that just blow my wife and others away. I don't know if that's happened to any of you. It's something I need to become more aware of because it can be quite awkward. One of these moments happened recently and it occurred just before we moved from my in-laws into our own home. To give you the background information about this, we moved in with my in-laws through a combination of COVID and my Parkinson's diagnosis. COVID caused me to be laid off from my job, but the Parkinson's diagnosis was going to cause that to happen eventually anyhow. So to plan ahead, we had purchased half a duplex in our new city and had rented it out for two years, believing this would give us enough time to leave my job and move. Living with my in-laws was no problem for me. I get along with them very well, and they tend to treat me like I am their own son. Because my mother-in-law and I are both big Star Wars fans, while we were living there, I would have date night with her each time a new episode of The Mandalorian was released. In total, my wife and I spent about 16 months living with them, waiting for the renters to move out, all the while accumulating new furniture and planning our first few days when we would live there. All of the plans we made ahead of time. My wife spent the last six months packing and labeling the boxes and all of her things. Well, me? I just left my clothes and other possessions as they were. That really bothered her. A couple of days before the move, she confronted me and suggested that I might not want to leave my in-laws because I had it so good there, which was the reason I wasn't getting ready like she was. I said, don't worry, honey. We're not moving very far. It's basically just across town. The day we move, I'll just dump my stuff into some garbage bags in the morning and I'll be ready to go. Needless to say, she wasn't happy. In the end, I went to the Salvation Army store bought a duffel bag and a backpack, which fit most of my clothes and other things. I did not use very many garbage bags the day of the move. And yes, as good as I had it at my in-laws, I was excited to move into our new home. Thanks for listening to my story and finding my channel. I'm going to make some changes in the coming weeks, such as posting more regularly and trying to find the lighter side of Parkinson's with more stories about life in general as well as expanding on the treatments and symptoms I am dealing with in the other videos. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this, or leave a comment if you have something humorous to say about your own journey with Parkinson's disease. Thank you and see you next time.